I'm, I'm excited. I mean, if you listen to what the uh, group, um, Mrs. Whitfield, Mrs. Peter, sorry, from the Whitfield group has talked about, I mean, talking about thousands of participants around the world and the possibility that it will take place in October. I mean, we're looking at probably somewhere between 700 to 1,000 people coming from overseas, uh, organizations, uh, people who probably has never even played soccer or whatever before, but come together as, as a group and enjoying something about Bermuda. But not only the, the tourist part, but allowing them to be introduced as far as our business climbing in Bermuda and the possibility of creating new business opportunity. Uh, what she didn't say at the time was that uh, we expect to have the uh, world uh, residents on Front Street uh, at the same time, which is, allows those people who live on those ships uh, uh, to come here. And, and during the time we're having, the, I think, marches along the Front Street, and you just can imagine what's going to take place. So we're excited for the opportunity to create, uh, uh, which affects our economy, possibly jobs, opportunities, and everything else that's going to take place. So was this an easy sell for you uh, when the idea was brought to you to try and jump on board with the corporate games? Well, if you consider the investment that the ministry is making, and I, I think our investment is roughly uh, $250,000, and considering what the return will be in the millions, uh, that's, no, that's not even uh, it's not even an argument. Okay. And these are the type of things that we're looking for in the future. Uh, make an investment, but a return that's going to be pleasure. great. The Whitfield Group is a Bermuda marketing and promotional events agency. And for the past 26 years, we've been on the island doing multiple things for the community, especially in the international business arena. But I have uh, colleagues from 26 years ago that I worked with in the sport business. And they, uh, for the past 25 years, they've been developing the corporate games globally. I met with them last May. And they told me what they've been doing for the last 25 years. And I said, we have to get this event to Bermuda. It must be on our shores. So with that, uh, the Whitfield Group has secured the Atlantic license for the corporate games. And our inaugural event will be staged in Bermuda, even though the, the founder of the games asked me specifically, where do you think you'd like to have the first games? And I, she thought I'd say New York or Boston or, or Miami. And I said, absolutely not. Bermuda is the only place to do this. We have the most incredible infrastructure as far as sports goes. We have the ability for corporates to participate and individuals to participate. We have an incredible island of sport enthusiasts. This is the place we have to be. Plus, we're the most beautiful place on earth. So that's the reason why we chose Bermuda, and we're delighted to bring this huge, enormous event to our shores, and I think it'll be the, uh, the success of 2012. So the games sure. are actually recognized as a um, multi-sports festivals and an open platform for anybody to participate um, in that event. By that I mean that competitors of any age, um, whether they're male or female, from um, direct employees through to members of the local community, colleagues, family, friends, wives and partners, graduates, retirees, um, everyone is welcome to take part. There are literally no barriers to participation. Now, on our global sports program, we have um, 53 sports that are recognized globally. These sports are equally open to men and women. They are no, not restricted by age, so people of all ages can take part. And generally speaking, they're not considered judged or brutal events, so they're open participation both in individual and team events. In Bermuda, this is recognized as a community event. So two days ago, we hosted a community briefing where we spoke to all of the sports federations to encourage them to tell us what the sport should be here on the island. We're going to run around a 12 to 15 sport program, and we're working closely with them at the moment to discuss how that infrastructure will work, from the, t the choice of the facilities through to um, which sports we're actually going to run. Um, they'll also be offered the opportunity to take part um, and compete and enter teams. That includes the local clubs, the gyms, all the facilities to do with sport in and around the island. Literally everyone is going to have an opportunity to take part in this fantastic event. Now, we know it's been successful throughout the world, or why, why Bermuda? What, what makes Bermuda unique? I think what, where really Bermuda really sets itself um, apart from, from other um, licensed um, organizations is that real mix of sport, business and tourism. They are the exact same core values that our games models um, utilize around the world. We are bringing businesses from Atlantic shores, um, from shores from around the, the UK and Europe perhaps, are coming into this area to experience the business infrastructure, 
the sporting infrastructure, the quality of the venues, there are some excellent venues here, and also to experience the fantastic delights um, that Bermuda can offer in terms of tourism, the beautiful beaches, the restaurants, the evening spots. Um, this is going to be a fantastic place for people to come and network, do business, meet one another. Um, it's really going to be a fantastic event.